Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The state now telling school districts that certain federal policies are, quote, not binding in Florida. News 6's Troy Campbell is live in the newsroom tonight, breaking down more on this new warning from the state. Troy? Well, Lisa, Matt, the message from the state education secretary describes the state's opposition as to how the federal law is being interpreted. We spoke with a Brevard County educator who says he's voiced concern regarding the district's bathroom policy for transgender students. Florida Education Secretary Manny Diaz Jr. sending a letter to Florida educators saying schools in Florida are not held to federal policies regarding sexual orientation and gender discrimination, writing, quote, the department will not stand idly by as federal agencies attempt to impose a sexual ideology on Florida's schools that risk the health, safety, and welfare of Florida students. Our policies are compelling teachers to be in the presence of nude minors of the opposite sex. Andrew Woodside is a teacher at Andrew Jackson Middle School in Titusville. He says Brevard County has instructed him to allow students of different genders to use the bathroom or locker room of the students choosing. He says the most concerning situation took place at a school in northern Brevard County. A teacher um, allowed a female student into his male locker room because she was identifying as a male. And, when, and upon entry, she changed her clothes in front of those male students, in front of the male PE teacher, on staff, in charge of supervision. And they all witnessed that she was wearing zero undergarments under her shirt. Woodside says he received this letter from the school telling him he must allow students to use bathrooms and locker rooms of the students choosing. The letter states, this is not a disciplinary letter, but goes on to say not following the policy could result in discipline. Woodside says he believes most parents aren't aware of the policy being enforced by Brevard Public Schools. We have to ask ourselves, what serves them best? And the answer is truth and communicating truth and love. And we reached out to several Central Florida school districts for a response to the memo. Sumter County told us they agree with the education secretary's position and say he has the legal right to issue the directive. Live in the newsroom tonight, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6. Troy, thank you.